Hello, this is Wampire. Uh, this video here is going to be the start of a new series. It's probably going to be like a four or five part series. And uh, I have some explaining to do. Uh, first of all, I get requests. People ask me, like, can you make this kind of video? And, uh, you know, there are people on YouTube that are actually looking for requests. And uh, me personally, I'm not one of those people unless I specifically say I'm looking for a request can you give me some ideas or something like that? Normally, I am not. Uh, you know, just nothing wrong with that. It's just the, the way that I do things, you know. And uh, anyway, um, this gentleman asked me to make a certain type of video. And uh, basically, when they tell me that uh, they have a terminal illness, then if I could make a video and that's going to help them a little bit or in some way, shape, or form, then I'm going to do it. It's as simple as that, okay? Uh, the type of request, the video that they're asking me to, to make, essentially is they sent me a clip of, uh, of another YouTube video, and I saw the clip, and they wanted me to break it down, okay? Uh, the, there's a martial arts instructor, a uh, Filipino martial arts instructor, who is uh, basically free-forming, okay? And I saw the clip, and I've seen this guy before on, on YouTube, and I think he is one of the best, uh, body mechanics wise, one of the best Filipino martial arts guys that I have personally seen on YouTube. All right, and my response to the guy asking me the request was basically that I cannot do it. This guy, uh, this instructor that you're asking me to break down his moves is just, he's just in a, in a higher plane. He's just in a way higher level than me. So, you know, there's a whole lot going on there, and I'm just not at the level to, to break it down, you know. Uh, but after talking to him, I think, uh, you know, I'm going to try to do it as best as I can, all right. So uh, I'm going to give it a try. And it, it's really, really difficult because, like, imagine, imagine if you will, uh, you hear music, okay. It's on a radio or something, and you go, hey, I really like that song. Okay, so you want to play it. Okay, you, first you need to know all the lyrics, and then you need to know the notes. And to just do that, just by hearing alone, is very difficult. Okay, even if you are a music instructor, if you, even if you are a music teacher, that's still very difficult to do. Now let's say on top of that, all right, that it's jazz. Okay, in other words, they're free forming. Okay, they just kind of did it based on the mood, just based on the feeling. And it's very chaotic like that. It's very random. It's very natural, okay? It's not a fixed pattern. That makes it even harder. And then if the guy doing it is someone like Mozart, even harder. So that's the kind of the situation that I'm in. So uh, anyway, I'm, like I said, I'm going to tackle it and give it the best that I can. The first thing here, this, the video for today, that's you know, a big explanation. I'm sorry if that bored you. But... Just wanted to make that clear. And the first thing that I want to cover here is in the video, the original video, uh, the guy does a lot of grip switching. Okay, so he goes from this standard stick like this to reverse. Okay, so I think the first step is before going into this kind of stuff, let's practice switching from reverse to standard, standard back to reverse. Okay, um, there's basically three types of grip switching. Okay. And the first one is you hold the stick all the way down here, okay? Hold it down here, and you're going to use your thumb and your middle finger to do this, okay? This swinging action, this is what we want, okay? So from here, you're holding it normal, okay? But towards the, the butt right there, okay? And then go, open, open up the top three fingers, thumb, middle finger right here, okay? And then from here, you're just going to swing it down like this, and then grip it. Just like that. So that's your switch right there. Okay, so from here, now you are in reverse reverse grip. Okay, so from here, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go open up and go from thumb to middle finger like this. And then now you got this swing. And then catch it up here. And that's how you switch. Okay, so you just go boom like this. You switch and boom. You see how the swing, I swing and I catch it just like that. Okay, so... Just practice that both hands because the guy used double sticks, okay? And then this is the first method, all right? If this is comfortable for you, that's good. The main idea is you want to be, you know, 
smooth as possible as you're doing this, okay, to be able to switch back and forth. Um, the next one that I want to talk about, the next uh, method of switching is to go, you don't have to be at the bottom now, you could be right here where you have some punya right there, and you're going to go basically to this right here. You see this? It's in between my two uh, fingers, index and, and uh, middle finger right here. It's right in between right there. Okay, so from there, I'm going to come to this grip right here. Okay, so basically, index is wrapped around and thumb is securing it on the other side like this. Okay, so from here, there, that's my reverse grip. Okay, I go back to this and bring it back to standard. Okay, so two fingers like that to this and catch. From here, this position right here, to two fingers and catch. Okay, so I go one, two, basically. I just almost skipped the, uh, the, the last stage right there where it's the index finger and the thumb grip right there just because it's you get so much momentum. And then you go back to this one right here, and in this case, when you go up, you almost skip the last phase, which is the two fingers grip right there just because you get so much momentum coming back up. Okay, so one and two, just like that, one and two. The good thing about this switching method is that you could still have some puño sticking out, but it is kind of awkward on the fingers, okay? It is kind of weird, but maybe in some ways it's a little bit more solid because instead of just having a finger grip, now you're having more of this like knuckle grip, okay? So, you know, all these grips are gonna have plus and minus, and there's probably more different ways of grip switching but these are uh, some of the, the most basic main ways that I know of. Okay, so the last grip switching method is basically, the concept is this. You're tossing the stick, you're throwing the stick, and then right now it's in standard, and I'm going to throw it up in the air, and as I throw it, I'm going to catch it now in reverse. Okay, now it's in reverse, and I'm going to throw it again, and now I catch it in standard. That's the idea, but I don't want there to be a big space between the stick and my hand, okay? I want it to be very subtle, like this, where you could hardly tell that I'm actually losing contact for a split second. I mean, my skin's still on there, but grip-wise, I mean, I am basically tossing, you know, the stick right there. It's just very, very quick, very, very minimal, okay? So that, that is the last way to do that, and I, personally, it is my favorite way, okay? So, but anyway, uh, you should be comfortable with at least those three methods. Be sure you practice it with both hands, okay? And you should practice it from the five angles of attack at least. That's, that's something you should be practicing. Your angles of attack, maybe you know a different set of five than I do, or maybe you know 12 angles of attack. Whatever it is, as you're doing it, you should incorporate it and then go back, you know, like this. And then I'll go, go back and go side to side, all right? stab, boom, stab right here, and then go back to your angles of attack. So, you know, incorporate that into your training. Okay, so this, that's the first part of this video, and we'll cover more stuff that the guy did in, in his video. So thank you for watching, and take care, folks.